Hi everyone. Um, today we're going to be powder coating with Protec powder. Um, so it's a powder coat. We'll be using a homemade fluid bed that I made out of some 2 inch PVC, a small aquarium pump, and I think I will be. I, I have the materials to make more fluid beds, so I will probably be making a video shortly showing how to make one of these. So, what you do is with it unplug the valve off. So, I'm going to take some of the green chartreuse from Brett M. Johnson. I'll leave a link in the description for the powder paint. He sells a lot of stuff on eBay and through Facebook and he's very fast at good prices and he sells it in large quantities or in small whatever you need. So we're not going to fill this cup all the way up because once we start putting air through the bottom it's going to force this powder to be more fluid. I'll show you. Now a lot of you probably have already used fluid beds and stuff so we just plugged it in and then we're just going to slowly turn the valve on. It's probably going to puff just a little bit. See? And then it'll it'll become like a liquid. You don't want the air up too high because you can actually spill over or cool your jig down too fast or your sinkers, whatever you're painting. So just enough to make it act as if it was fluid. You get a little, a couple little volcanoes here and there, but that's pretty good right there. So I'm going to set this on the bench. Notice I also have my um, oven starting to warm it up. This actually stays pretty cool right here, even though it's right beside it. Um, stuff gets very hot on top of this though. But you preheat the oven. This color needs to be 350 degrees for 20 minutes. So I'm going to move the camera closer and then um, start showing you the process. Alright, so there's still quite a bit left in this container and I don't want to spill it so I'm just going to tighten that lid back up. Several different colors available and on the back of these um, they actually say what to heat them at and stuff. I see a lot of people asking questions, what, what temp do I need and stuff so um, then today we'll be using these high temp silicone caps and they send a sticker I got a couple different sizes this is the one most people recommend um, I'll leave a link in the description for these as well and I got the larger ones um, for larger hooks so I got a few of those sitting here so I don't need to get any out of the bag and then we'll be using some of the pre-made jigs that I I made poison spectrum. Sometimes they don't always clean up the nose on them the greatest, so they'll be a little rough there. You can take a razor knife or a flush cutter and just carefully scrape at it. You tap on them. Until they look pretty flat. A couple little scratches and stuff in there, not terrible. So you're going to want to heat the jig up. Careful not to burn yourself. Um, I use a propane torch. Turn the flame down low and uh, try not to heat the hook up too much. Just you just want the lid warm, warmed up just a little bit. One, two. 
two, three, four, five, six. Oop, and then put your cap on there quick. Should get shiny. It's gonna smoke a little bit. You can pull your cap off. We can clean this up. So then I take them and I actually set them up on a rack. You guys probably can't see the rack, but I have one hanging up on the ceiling in my lure room. So that one looks pretty good. I always inspect them though, because you could have a little bit of lead around the hook eye or back here on the hook shank. So. That's pretty good. Put it up on my rack. So I always let them cool down a little bit. Dump these out. Kind of hard getting them out of the bag. They're all they're all hooked together. And these are new flush cutters. They're actually a little too sharp. They kind of gouge into it. So I'm gonna use my old pair. That seem to work really well for just doing that. I don't like sanding them. I don't like all of the um, stuff floating around and getting in my lungs. If you are going to sand them or file them, do wear a respirator. Do it in a well ventilated area. And do not eat or drink in your lure area. See this one got kind of pitted. It didn't get hot enough so I'm going to pop this cap off. Get a little bit of paint up on the hook eye too. So I'm going to hold it a little bit further away. Careful not to burn my fingers. And heat that jig up just a little bit. And put that back on. And do a real quick re-dip. So it's not shiny now. And you want to make sure all of the paint, excess paint, is cleaned off before you put it in the oven to cure it. So I'm going to wipe this off. It's getting quite a bit of paint on it. And I'm, I think I'm dragging the paint from the bottom. So these are reusable. I'm dragging the paint across the hook eye now. So I don't want that. And I could be using several of them and just pop new caps on and stuff, but oop, I'm using the wrong ones again. I grab my new pair and they're cutting in. didn't get it hot enough again so see it's you can see quite a bit of the lead through it so I'm gonna hold it a little bit further away just it takes a little bit of time to uh, get it down and I goof up in time time too so careful not to touch the lid with your hands very warm but 
get a little bit on the hook eye there and the hook shank. Just like I said, make sure it's cleaned up the best you can if you want really clean. See, if you push the cap down too far, I'm going to show you this. Push the cap too far down, the lead won't even, or the lead won't get covered by the paint. So, that's not good. I'm just going to try. The lead might still be hot enough to get a little bit of that powder paint to stick. Yep. So, that might smooth out when we here in the oven. So I'm just going to do one more and then we're going to put them in the, the uh, jig rack from TJ's Tackle. And um, start curing it in the oven. Shut the torch off, move it aside. I would normally paint up more than this at once, but shut that valve off so I don't forget it when I go to use it again. It'll puff up really bad. So now we're going to take our very warm jig clamp because I had it on top of my oven. I should not have set them up there. Get very warm. So, hot. I don't know if I want to grab it like this, but you want to just slip it in there so that the, when you pull it out, the tip of the hook isn't going to get dug into that high temp silicone. So I'm going to leave it up just a little bit. So in my fluid bed I use printer paper, some people use brown paper bags, um, coffee filters, all kinds of stuff. I've actually been using the same piece of printer paper, copy paper, um, for a year and a half now. So, and I've never had any issues with it. I see people having issues all the time with their fluid beds. I'm not sure what kind of pump they're using or whatever, but I'm 
That one you can see a little bit of lead through it. Hoping that that one will cure all right. If not, you can heat it up with a heat gun a little easier than a torch and put a little bit more paint on them and re-cure them This one was the one that I pulled up and there was a little bit of paint on the edge of that high temp silicone cap. So it made a little bit of a mess. But still, even with a little bit of a mess, the eye didn't get plugged up. So I'm happy with that. And I just make these jigs for myself. <laughs> 